I don't know what I am. I'm just here. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a full glam transformation because why not? We live a little glam, you know, here to serve a look. So I have a look in mind. I'm hopefully, hopefully I execute it, but I'm debating what I should do with my hair. I freaking love this wig. You've seen it in my last video and I do have a hair video on it as well. But I just, I, I'm telling you guys, like, I love this kinky texture. Like, look at the hair that I slept on. Like, look at it. Like, literally, it's so flawless. Like, granted, my ear tabs are coming up a little bit. But y'all know I don't use glue, so that's an easy fix for me. But it just looks so good. So, I think I want to do, because this is a 360 wig. It's not glued in the back. But I'm thinking I want to do, like, a... A ponytail but if I do the ponytail I need to do it in my bathroom because I don't have my hair stuff out so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna be back because all right guys so I'm back on my little pony I think it looks cute I like it it's like really flirty fun really natural and like the ponytail long enough to like kind of cover the back of my neck so it's not clockable. I'm gonna go ahead and start my brows. Um, I'm just gonna kind of speed through it because nothing's changed. They're still bushy and my brows are still kind of trash. So, but I know you guys like to see them so I'm gonna show you. I'm using my Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil in the shade Deep Brown. And I do really like this pencil a lot but you can't apply a lot of pressure on it because it starts to break. So today I'm thinking like something really glam. Like I love when my hair is out of my face because I feel like I can play with my my makeup more. But it's weird when my hair is short, like I wear my natural hair. I don't like to do over dramatic looks. But like when my hair is up, I'd be like, we need to just snatch it up, honey, snatch it up. <laughs> And I'm just brushing through this. And I do really want to beat my face today. I know I say that all the time, but like I would really like to be snatched. I really, <laughs> really <laughs> want to be snatched. You know, when I have the robe on, I am not here to play, okay? And when I do my brows, I try not to like overly fill them in you guys see how you can still see my my brow hairs that's what i like to accomplish because i just feel like it's just realistic it looks more natural i'm not into the super like blocky brow i'm just using my Too faced concealer to clean this up is overrated i wish i was <laughs> both handed sorry i had to answer a phone call but like i was saying when you do a concealer that's too thick underneath it actually makes it more noticeable it's just cakey so just do your brows accordingly i promise nobody's gonna clock you and your little hairs underneath your brow it's not that deep sis so now i'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids i'm gonna be using concealer I'm using my ColourPop concealer today. No reason, it's just, you know, what I grabbed, because my makeup still is not organized, but I think my package just got here because I just got a notification. So I'm pretty sure I could finish organizing today and I will be so happy. But yeah, I'm just gonna pat that out. 
because we're gonna do we're gonna do something kind of fun today. I think I always hype myself up, and I know y'all be like, "Bitch, this is the same look." <laughs> and now I'm just gonna set my eyelids because I prefer to set my concealer now because it just makes my eyeshadow go on a lot smoother. And I'm just using my setting powder. I'm actually using the Maybelline one, but you can use any like um, translucent powder or anything just to set that in place so the shadow doesn't stick. It's just gonna glide. So I have a few neutral palettes in front of me today. I don't know what I'm gonna use because my eye's gonna be neutral, but we're gonna, we're gonna glam it up a little bit, okay? So let's see what I'm gonna do. Let's see. I'm gonna use Okay, I'm probably gonna dip into two. Oh well. So I'm gonna use my Too Faced um, Palm Spring Dreams palette, and and I'm gonna go into this orangey shade Mocktail, and that's gonna act as my transition shade because I really do want ooh pigment, girl. I really do want. A bold eye today and I wanted to use tape oh my gosh but now it's too late oh well I've been liking um, the tape when I do my eyeshadow because it's just so much sharper and it just looks so good so you're just adding that and blending that you know use your discretion if you want it to be lighter Stop adding. If you want it to be more pigmented, keep adding. I think I'm really liking, I used the ColourPop um, concealer today and I really like that for my eyeshadow base. Like, you know the ColourPop consistency is really thin, but it's very pigmented. So I feel like it acted as a great eyeshadow base. Take notes. So you guys are gonna kill me. I really try not to use this palette because it's like literally not available anymore. But I'm using the Makeup Addiction Flaming Love Palette and I just think the formula of these mattes are so good. Like, the formula of these mattes are so good and the shimmers are really nice too. I was not expecting that from this palette. Like this just looks like a regular like janky palette that they just like put together. But it's really good. So. So I'm gonna go with this brown right here and I'm gonna apply that more in the crease with a more tapered brush and this is the M330 brush. And that's gonna go like that. And I just really like these shadows because they layer so nicely and like these transition shades just call my name. <laughs> And you're just blending, blending, blending. It takes a while, but I promise you guys, it's worth it. You know, when I'm going back and editing my videos, I realize like I really be yelling at y'all and I just wanna say, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry, so sorry. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go with this reddish brown shade just to like put in between that orange and that brown. I probably should have done that before the brown, but whatever, here we are now. And you see, it's just adding like a different kind of undertone to the eye. Literally my last like three tutorials have all been the same transition shades, but different lid color. Look, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. And I'm just taking that fluffy brush and I'm literally just blending that out so we added the transition shade first because you wanted the darker colors to have something to blend into you didn't want it to just be dark and then your dark is moving up 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 and just taking over your eye because it's not the look we're going for today i'm gonna use my nyx glitter primer you guys know i use this for everything matte shimmers glitters in between because it's just bomb so i'm gonna take that and apply that on my lid Kind of bring it up. You guys know I like to give that like more open shade. I mean, open shape. 
because I kind of I don't I don't know what kind of eye shape I have. I don't know if it's hooded or not, but like I literally have this crease right here, and I just have to finesse it. That, that's my job. And I'm gonna be using a matte today. I don't know which palette to use the matte from. I'm just gonna go back into the Too Faced and use Cabana Time, and we're gonna see. Hopefully, this this is the shade that I want. Okay, it's, it's white, <laughs> but we're gonna use that. So. I'm just placing that all over the lid. And a lot of people think that you can't use the glitter primer with mattes, but it actually is like a magnet for mattes. Cause you know, mattes are really hard to pack on. They'd be like super patchy. Like I don't care what brand it is. When it comes to packing the mattes on, it's really hard to do. So I like to do this so it gives me less work. When you're blending the mattes, Easy when you're trying to pack them out, pat it up, pack them on is a whole different story. So I'm gonna go back into this like reddish brown shade right here, and I'm just gonna kind of merge the two together and diffuse the edges of the eyeshadow. And it's just a lot of back and forth, adding, blending, adding, blending. Take your time, sis. Stuff doesn't happen overnight, doesn't happen in five minutes. You need to practice and have some patience. Okay. I'm just gonna take this brown and this brown. I don't want too much of that, but I do need a little bit of depth. So I'm just gonna bounce back and forth and I'm gonna place that right there and in the crease just to have a little bit more depth. All right, so that's my eye for now, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. All right, so this is the eye, and I'm not mad at it. It's like my regular matte eye, but like brought up a notch, you know? You know what I'm saying? Love that. So I have my little container of glitters, and I really wanna do a silver glitter. I don't typically do silver, so I thought this would be a perfect time. But I honestly don't think I have a silver glitter, so I look might be a dub. But we're going to keep it pushing because I literally thought I had silver glitter, but I forgot I don't like silver that much that I don't have it. So what I'm going to do first is do my regular wing liner, and I'm going to try to do it dramatic-ish. And I'm not going to talk because I just can't. And I'm going to keep it on camera because I know y'all be cussing me out when I don't do it on camera. So just watch. And that's a nice liner. I hope my other one comes out as good. And I'm using the ColourPop liner. I was gonna use the B Taylor Beauty one, but I wanted my liner to be more, like I wanted it to glide more. So I needed, I needed this one. <laughs> So that's as good as my liner is gonna get. You guys saw it. Hate this one, but we're gonna we're gonna finesse it. But I I really like how everything is coming together though. So I'm gonna wait for that to dry a little bit more because I feel like it's still wet, and then we're gonna move forward to the glitter. Yes, girl, glitter. I'm gonna take my NYX glitter primer, and I'm gonna take that blah, 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 this Real Techniques brush it's like a liner brush but it's a silicone tip but it stays 
like sharp because it's silicone so like it doesn't start to like get all you know how brushes be doing what they do yeah it's not gonna do that so I thought I had silver glitter but I don't so I'm gonna use this can you guys see anyway it's like a silvery bluish kind of glitter It's Elsa by Violet Voss so that's what I'm gonna use today this is why I do see there's glitter everywhere my gosh I'm gonna take this NYX glitter primer and I'm gonna draw a line just on the white part. I don't want to take it throughout the whole wing. I just want it on this open part, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna take that and apply that like so, above the black line. I know you guys probably can't see that, but you guys will get what I'm saying. And honestly, don't stress about it being super perfect because once you put on your lashes and your, the rest of your face is beat, gonna look good so it doesn't even matter so now I'm gonna dip into that brush and I'm just gonna place that glitter right on top I don't know how I've never used this glitter so I don't know how this is gonna translate I think I need more glitter primer And you just want to place that right on top. You're probably going to have to pack it on a little bit. Are we seeing this? Or no? I feel like every time I put the glitter on, my camera blurs up. And I'm just leaving it on the white part. This isn't popping as much as I wanted it to because it's not actually silver. It's like a soft blue, pur purple silver, but it's gonna work for today. You guys, it's gonna work. Something's gotta give. This isn't gonna work. Normally this works, but I don't know if this is glitter or what, but it's just not, it's just not going on smooth. So I'm gonna try to use like a, like a liner and I'm gonna dip it into the glitter. If that makes any sense, I'm gonna go like this. It's like a glitter liner, and I'm just gonna try to glide it over. And hopefully that gives me a better result. No, what's happening? Do y'all see why I stick to what I know? Because stuff like this happens and I get very frustrated. Okay, so this is working. Okay, okay, we're in action. So yeah, just dip it into, this is like an e.l.f. Stardust glitter liner, so it doesn't really have much color. And I'm just gonna go like that. So I'm not mad at it. So now I'm gonna take my liner again and just clean it up and make it look a little sharper. Like honestly, glitter to me is just one of those things that just doesn't translate good on camera and pictures and videos. It just always looks bad to me. Like, like what the hell is this? Like it looks good in person, but on camera, it just looks dumb. So I'm gonna move on to my face. And I've been using like the same face products because honestly, I just think it's been making my face look really good. So I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Hydrating Primer Serum. I've been using this a lot. And it's been making several points. And next I'm gonna be going in with my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, which I don't know why I'm using the last of this expensive ass primer, but I also need to like use my stuff and get rid of stuff that only had like an inch of product in it because I'm just hoarding at this point and hoarding is not healthy. It's really not. I hate my eyes. Of course, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Infallible um, foundation and cover up all these 
problematic blemishes. Like, I don't know what's going on with my chin. It's definitely like hormonal, but gosh, I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. And now I'm going with my Born This Way concealer in the shade Chestnut. And I'm gonna apply that under my eyes. With some coverage, some more coverage and around my mouth area. And like I've said before, this concealer is actually technically really close to my skin tone. But as you can see, my foundation is darker because I just feel like I look better a little bit more tanned, a little darker, so that's what I'm doing. And you know, I've been using my Cover FX concealer a lot, but I think I just want to go ahead and use my ColourPop just to see what's popping. I just haven't used it in so long that, I don't know, I hope I don't regret this, but I know this is more of a matte concealer, and okay, I already hate the shade, but we must go on. Um, I know this is already, I know this is more of a matte concealer, so we'll see how I feel. But like I said, I'm going to start using my products a little bit more because I have so much stuff and I use the same thing over and over. And I also minimize a lot of stuff too so far since I've been cleaning. So when I show you guys my makeup, because I know you guys said you wanted a makeup collection, which is not really a collection. <laughs> it's looking a little pitiful, but um, you'll see. But I do really like the ColourPop concealers. I just stopped using them because I feel like I can't really find a shade that I like in the concealer. It's like too bright or it's too pink. Like this is really pink. I don't know how the end result is gonna look, but like right now it's giving me peachy. And that was shade Dark 42. So it doesn't look bad. I'm gonna go ahead and set that and I'm gonna be using my Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and, and I'm gonna press that in. And this powder makes the world of a difference, you guys. It also, it also adds coverage to like, do you see that? Do we see that? So I feel like slowly but surely I'm coming together and I'm starting to like my face a lot more. Like now you can see the glitter, you know? Now you can see the eye. I don't even know what I'm looking at. I have three places to look at. Okay, so, so now I'm going in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Deep and I'm just gonna set that and if you don't do this step, you need to because one, your makeup lasts a lot better and two, your makeup just looks a lot more filtered and it looks just finished. Like it's a finishing powder, so it just locks everything together. And I like to press this in and then you can swirl, but don't start swirling because what's gonna happen is like, 
you're gonna mess up your base and you don't want that you're trying to lock in the base so now I'm gonna go on with Coco Naughty by Fenty why is there hair everywhere and um, I'm going to you know press that and then flick it up you don't want to do it downwards because when you blend downwards it starts to look real muddy you want to lift the cheeks you want to be snatched you know I'm gonna go on with some blush I'm gonna be using my NARS loves me blush and I'm gonna sweep that on the cheeks it has like a it's like a satin finish so it has a little bit of sheen but not too much you know not too much and I'm gonna go in with my artist couture sugar daddy I know that my eye is more on the silvery side, so like I really shouldn't put gold on my face, but that's what's in front of me, so that's what I'm gonna use. <laughs> um, you guys know I really don't care that much about my highlighters like that, so just a little something, some just to give me a little, a little. I need to wipe my nose off. My finger on my nose. So just go back in with your powder and just diffuse that you see that so you want it to be like defined but you don't want two lines on your faces so i'm gonna go on with my um morphe luminous setting spray is my lashes and my lips and my girl Kiki Adams here on YouTube she has a brand called glow up Academy she sent me a few lashes so I'm gonna put them on today I have let me take it out the package so you can actually see them I have this one and it's called quickie <laughs> that's so cute I think I'm gonna wear these because they flare out more at the end and then pop pretty on purpose and these they're these these are really pretty too i think i would wear these with more of like a no eyeshadow look so i'm gonna go with quickie today and then she sent me some glosses as well so i can't wait to try these because i love glosses and yeah so we're gonna see these are like really fluffy i love i love i love i love so i'm just gonna measure them and see if i need to cut them or not <gasps> how cute Kiki, girl, this is the lash that I've been wanting. Like, it's wispy, but it goes from like short to just thick and just winged out. It just goes with the look. Oh my gosh. You guys can't really see the glitter on camera, I don't think. But like in person, this is like the perfect pop of glitter. Like, I don't like all that extra stuff. And I did glitter today too for Kiki because I know she's a glitter queen, honey. So I had to do it one time for the one time because like they're called glow gloss and her packaging looks like this it's really cute it is glow glow boss which i believe is a clear like that can never have too many clear glosses um this is wednesday oh that's cute because on wednesdays we wear pink <laughs> and then link me which is a nude so i feel like this look deserves a pinky moment but like i'm also feeling nude so we're gonna see we're gonna see so i'm gonna use my struggly kkw lip liner because i do not know where my sharpener is and i forgot to get one today but yeah so i'm gonna use this in the shade um nude 2.5 i use this when i want to line my lips but not have anything too dark so what I'm doing you guys see how it's like a hair darker but it's not like OD you guys these smell like like cookies so I'm using Wednesday and today's actually Wednesday so that's perfect oh this is so cute you guys know I love me a gloss
I love the applicator of this, by the way. Ciao. This pretty much completes the look. I think I'm gonna take off this necklace because it's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Like, I knew it was like a little choker, but like, I like for my chains to like be long and layer. And I put on my pink plastic shirt because like, it's Wednesday and on Wednesdays we wear pink and then this just inspired me. So yeah, this is the completed, is it the completed look? Am I gonna take this necklace off? Let me see. Yeah, this is a completed look. <laughs> so this is a completed look, you guys. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this full glam. It was a lot of trial and error, but you know, we're here. We finished, we made it. So make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you guys thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on any socials if you're not at Tasha Washa with three A's at the end. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.